Kenny, aka Meet the Ghost. And today we actually uh, we went down to uh, Moochie's to get some um, to get some food. <laughs> so first up we have Mana sandwich, which is the Philly Steak and Cheese or Philly Cheese Steak sandwich. You got it the classic way, right? No green bell peppers. Well, let's take a look at the inside of the sandwich. You got whiz, you got the ribbons of meat, we got onions, and did you put mushrooms? No? All right. So, um, Moochie's is one of Utah's um, featured places that was once on uh, Drive-In Stipends and Drives with Guy Fieri. And um, he had the meatball and he tasted the, uh, the Philly stick of cheese. So, I'm gonna just bite this piece of her sandwich just to see how it goes. Kind of excited for this. Ooh, it smells good. And it's the the bread feels kind of soft. Let's see. I don't want to take too big of a bite because it's not mine. <laughs> That is nice. The whiz with the bread, the onions, and the, the, the meat, they meld very well together. Now, I've only had a few different varieties of uh, Philly cheesesteaks, and most of them, they added uh, bell peppers to them. And from what I understood is that that's an added thing. And um, I don't think it goes along with it. Not personally. I, I think it does better just... Meat, cheese, onion. I like to add mushrooms to mine, but just those three, pretty good. The bread is made in-house as well. Um, next up, I have the Atomic Meatball Sandwich. And Mana. Oh boy, it's... Yeah, meatballs, cheese, peppers, <laughs> it's falling apart. <laughs> Oh boy, that's a, a bit messy. Mm. Sorry for the interruption. We had to clean up the area from the sandwich. Um, so let's give it a shot, see how it is. Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> the meatball's trying to run away. So I got it their traditional way, the way that they make it. Everything is exactly the same. They use feta cheese, um, marinara. Hmm. I didn't get to bite that meatball yet because it keeps sliding around. I think I'm gonna have to put this in a bowl. Hmm. <laughs> uh oh. That's probably gonna lose points for get, for being so messy. <laughs> the meatball is nicely cooked. It's not overdone. Or I don't taste any like burning on it. Mm. But would I say it's the best I've had? Probably not. It's good, but it's not there, I guess. Um, personally, I believe the Philly Steak and Cheese, for that sandwich, I'd probably give it about a solid nine. That was a very good sandwich. This one, because it's so messy, and the taste, um, I'd probably give it like a seven, seven and a half. 7.5 for the, for the, for the taste, but because it's, it is as messy as it is, a seven. Okay, so next up I have the fried ravioli. Let's give that a quick break. And as we see, it's just cheese on the inside. And I'm going to try and dip it in the marinara and see how it goes. Mmm. 
the mozzarella in here is very good. Um, I'd imagine if it was hotter, it would probably have a much more stringier pool. But it's cold today. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's a lot of snow outside and it's very dark. Um, I think it's probably about maybe a low 20. You know, it's, it's very cold today. But um, I think they, they have like a, a herb and cheese crust on the outside of these. It's pretty good. Let's try to eat this last piece. Mmm. I give that a solid eight. And here I have the um, par um, penne parmesan, er, eggplant parmesan. So it's got, looks like it's covered in mozzarella cheese. We got penne pasta noodles and eggplant parm. So it looks like there's no meat in here. Um, if you're into that. Um, they also have a chicken parm version or a meatball version. But I wanted to give this one a shot and see how it was. Okay. The eggplant tastes fresh. It's um, got a little chew to it, which I like it though. It's not like um, old and mushy, and it's not um, not over hard. It's got a nice spring to it. Let's see uh, how the penne. Oh, sorry, and the cheese goes. The marinara tastes a little different than that one. I think it's because that one I got the atomic um, meatball. So I think they put like jalapeno peppers or maybe pepper bombs into the uh, the sauce itself. So this is a more traditional um, marinara. It doesn't really um, feel much different. This is still pretty good though. Um, this looks, well, for some people, it may look small, but it's pretty deep. And um, I think you get a pretty good amount for what you're paying for. Uh, we got three slices of the Parmesan cheese, and this feels like about maybe two to three pounds worth of food. Um, and a piece of bread from the from the, the loaves. I'd say, again, I give this probably about an eight. It's pretty good. Good job, Moochies. Um, last I'm gonna test out is their dessert, which I have the uh, no nut brownie. Unfortunately, they didn't have the walnut brownies or the uh, the other brownies I, I would like to try. They only had the uh, one without, but it's very soft and it's, it looks like it's very uh, moist. Mmm, smell of the cocoa is pretty good. The chocolate chips inside. Mmm. Well, this is a good brownie. Wendy, did you want to try this? Please reach. Mmm. <laughs> it's chewing. <laughs> is it moist? I like how it, it kind of feels like it expands in your mouth. And it's chocolatey like it's supposed to be. Not chalky, but dry. Yeah. Very I'd good. say it's a very good brownie. I gave it a solid nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I agree. I give this a solid nine. Mm -hmm. I just wish that it could have added um, walnuts. Walnuts, I know. I like that. Or almonds. I love almonds. Too. Yeah. It's like one of my favorite like nuts. But yeah, it was all in all. Um, I'd spread. say today's <laughs> meal overall is probably about 8.5. 
out of 10. And um, yeah, I definitely, I would eat this again. It's, <laughs> it's a good meal. So thank you folks for joining us. You guys have a great day.